My first ever art toy, I'm so excited. Now it's time to launch them. And I think it all boils down to pupil gate. Why does this week feel like six months? Aaron is investing tens of thousands of dollars. Damn, I'm so delirious from working so hard for so long. But we grinding, baby, we grinding. It's gonna be sick, it's all gonna be worth it. Hello, good morning guys. It's an exciting day. A couple days ago, I put out part one of my video series where I'm making these designer toys. And much to my surprise, it seems like you guys are as excited about designer toys as I am. Now it's time to launch them. My to-do list is crazy. There's probably gonna be more pieces of art in this video than there's ever been in any other 1000 video. So many things to do. So let us get to the studio and get this crazy train rolling. Here we go. This video is sponsored sponsored by Squarespace. Designer toys, designer toys. Now in part one, I asked you guys a couple of key questions and I put them out as polls on my community tab. One of the questions was, which one of these four colorways should we do as the limited edition? So coming in in last place was our boy San Andreas. Only 5% of you thought San Andreas should be the special edition. Deep Sleep coming in with a meager 13%, but the real tight race was between these two. Now, this is the guy that I wanted for the reasons I explained in the last video, but a lot of you wanted this guy, and I think it all boils down to pupil gate. This guy is the only one who has pupils in his eyes. You're like, he has to be the special edition, he has pupils. Why don't they all have pupils? <laughs> <laughs> but this guy did sneak out by 2%. Tangerine Dream will become the special edition. So it has been decided. Thank you, community, for weighing in on that one. I did not expect it to be that close. The other poll was about the brick wall. Where's my brick wall? Got it. So this is gonna be a little mini 1000 mural, but I wasn't sure how interested you guys would be in this. So looking over at the poll, 75% of you said, yes, you would like one. We need to produce 200 of these for it to even be remotely financially worth it for us. So 75% of 7,200. I'm no mathematician, but I think that's more than 200. So I think we're good to go on this one. Thank you guys for casting your votes. But now time is of the essence. Let's go ahead and just jump into this. Okay, so it's time for me to work on the mini mural, the brick wall. And a long time ago, I actually started designing on the brick wall and I came up with this. And I think it's really cool. It's really bold and graphic style. Now for the other side, I'd love to use just like a classic 1000 mural, maybe one that you guys recognize. So I was scrolling through my murals and I found this one. Now this mural holds a lot of significance to me. The meaning behind it, art saves me, is literally about how art kind of saved my life, helped me recover from some hardcore drug abuse. Art played a role in bringing me out of that dark time in my life. This mural is like three or four years old at this point. Maybe for some of you early subscribers to the 1000 channel, this is around when you guys joined, I'm not sure. This will be a really cool mural to turn into the toy. It's gonna be a lot of work, but I'm excited. Here we go. I started by bringing the original 2018 sketch into my iPad. It's time to redraw this as a vector with my updated style. It's crazy how Adobe Fresco has all of a sudden become implemented into my workflow. The vector brushes that are in here allows me to achieve a more artistic look while still having it be vector. I'm ashamed to admit it, but I actually hate Adobe Illustrator. But with this app, I have something that's very similar to Procreate, but also opens up the whole world of vector graphics to me. All right, so I finished the line art. I actually think I'm gonna continue using Adobe Fresco to do the colors, because this thing needs to be a vector for the printing process of this toy. It was crazy to update a piece of art from 2018. So often in my art career, I'm looking forward to the next project, but it was really nice to look back at something I've done before. Finally finished my flats. Now it's time to start shading. Doing this entire piece of art from drawing to coloring to shading all on the iPad in Adobe Fresco is an absolute first for me. All right, I have finished shading this thing. It's crazy how different it looks from when I drew it three years ago. Super feeling it. Now it's time to bring it into the computer and start mocking it up on the wall. For the two sides, I had to go with something classic to my style. First side was my instigator character. The other side was my watchers. These are both characters that you're gonna find in so many of my pieces. Gotta take some pictures of this brick wall so that I can like mock my art up onto the brick wall. 
Okay, so it took me like two and a half days, but I have finished my brick wall design. Super feeling how it came out. It's so awesome to take something I did three, four years ago, redo it, update it, and put it onto something like this. Loving it. But I did finish just in time because I have a very important call with my absolute wizard of a Frenchman, Alexandre Albasir. He's doing a crazy 3D trailer for my toys, and I can't wait to see what he has to show me. Oh, there he is. How's it going, man? Hey, man. I'm fine. How are you? Good, man. I'm so excited to see what you have made for me. What you did for Vivid Kingdoms was insane, and now you're back at it again with these toys. I'm so excited. Yeah, thanks a lot. I'm also so excited. It's really incredible design and everything. So you got something to show me? You've been working on something? Yeah, it's already like a day, a day and a half of work just to prepare everything. I can jump right into it if you like. Yeah, let me see. So this is uh, the 3D model I got from uh, Bertrand, and so after like a day and a half of work we got to this whoa that's incredible wow that looks so good so we have this for every colorway on the front we have uh, some colors that make everything pop a bit so <laughs> this one is more green and orange dude this is insane man i love it i'm so excited to see what you make everything looks super good awesome man thank you well thanks for your time I'll talk to you soon all right it's 9 p.m i'm heading home but my work day is not even close to being over the schedule this week has just been insane but we grinding baby we grinding it's gonna be sick it's all gonna be worth it. Okay, so I'm at my little home studio here at my house right now. I got my iPad. With this crazy toy launch, we're gonna be doing uh, t-shirts, stickers, maybe some other apparel. You know, some cool stuff with the original design. So it really helps for me to have a vector version of that. Juniper's gone to sleep. It's time to make some art. Okay, my vector line art is done. Now over to the computer to finish the design. For the t-shirt and hoodie design, I knew the deep sleep colorway would be an awesome inspiration. It still has that bold graphic illustrative style, but it's that more subdued color scheme for people who like that kind of dark streetwear vibe. Nick is just set up taking photos of these things. Looking good. Good job, Nick. Thanks. <laughs> Look at that focus, baby. We use the little remote so we don't jiggle the camera when we take it. There you go. And up here inside of here, is our little photo box. There's the toy. Looking Gucci. Okay, now I'm gonna take a crack at using the photography we just did to make a custom skateboard deck. Yo, I'm sitting here working on this skateboard and in horizontal mode, it's just tiny. I was like, man, I can barely see what I'm working on. And then bam, baby, vertical mode. That's how you work on a freaking skateboard. There is definitely a lot of moving parts to this project. It's also a little bit stressful because it's kind of high stakes. I mean, Aaron is investing tens of thousands of dollars into making these molds for the toys. Each color that's on the toy is like a separate film and it's just a big investment. And even though I've done crazy big projects like this before, it's always a little bit stressful as to how it's actually gonna go, how it's actually gonna turn out. And ultimately I'm making these toys for you guys. I want you guys to love them. So I want it to be really, really Really good it's my first toy ever i am just like such a huge fan of designer toys and feeling a little bit of that pressure right now on just trying to make it good and trying to make it awesome How's it going, man? Super excited to see what you got for me, man. Yeah, I think uh, you're gonna like it. All righty, here we go. <laughs> oh my god. Whoa, hell yeah. What? <laughs> oh my god, dude, this is sick. What the hell? Look at all those. Oh my goodness. Wow. That looks so sick. On this shot right here, if it was like more, like cover a bit more to show that it's being customized. Yeah, I can do that. Instead of it being white, it could be like purple. It's like hard to tell what's really going on here. So if this was purple and it was smeared out around a lot more and maybe looked a bit more wet, I, like I don't know what the limitations are of my request, but like if it looked like drippy paint, I think that would make that shot a little cooler. Yeah, I can do that, no problem. The one other thing that I was noticing, you're going for like a super pixelated thing here. Yeah. It seems like it's a little too pixelated for like modern technology and a little bit deep.
desaturated. I can step down uh, the effect of it. Dude, this is so fire. It's insane. I'm really glad you like it. I'm, I'm quite proud of, of how, how it turned out. Uh, your designs uh, always managed to inspire me uh, to create uh, some kind of nice visuals. I'm just so glad you're on my side, bro. I can't believe I have access to this level of quality and talent. All right, man. Appreciate you. I'll talk to you later. Yeah, bye. Thanks. Adios. Okay, it's time for me to work on this shipping container. This thing's so cool, you can put all kinds of stuff in there. Now, one thing that Aaron did tell me is that because of the way they actually print these in the factory, you can only print one little string of numbers right here. But I can do this side, this side, this side, the doors. So, nothing to it but to do it. Let us begin. My iPad really acts as a digital sketchbook for me. So I started this design process by cutting and pasting a bunch of previous sketches and collaging them together into a composition. All right, I got something cool put together in Procreate. I'm gonna export out of here, shoot it over to Fresco so I can vectorize it. The hours and days keep ticking by as I make more and more art for this drop. Hopefully it's all worth it in the end. I finished my vector line art, now it's time to start coloring. I stuck to a somewhat limited color scheme of pinks, teals, yellows, and greens. Shooting photos. <laughs> what am I even saying? I'm so delirious from working so hard for so long. Mocking my art up on the photos is the most satisfying part. As I finally see my design come to life. All right, finish the shipping container. Man, I am just super loving the way that this thing came out. The limited color scheme is super popping. It took me like three days, which I was not anticipating. I don't know why I keep doing these so overly ambitious designs, but in the end, I think it turned out really sick. Now, I was kind of messing around with these mock-ups, and I tried one with a black base for the shipping container instead of the white base, and I really like it, but I'm not sure what you guys are gonna think. So I'm actually gonna put pictures of both of them on my Instagram, and and then over on my community tab on YouTube, I'm gonna put a poll out to see which one you guys like better. So let me go ahead and do that right now because when the people speak, 100 listens, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> okay, I just posted the poll and while we wait for the results, I'm gonna let you guys know that this video is brought to you by Squarespace. I am so freaking happy that Squarespace is a sponsor of my channel because it just makes so much sense. I think a lot of artists watch this channel. I think a lot of creative people watch this channel. And if you're an artist or a creative person or or you're passionate about something, you deserve to have a beautiful website. And with Squarespace, it's never been easier to showcase yourself to the world in an epic way. They have these amazing award-winning templates and all you gotta do is take your awesome content, drop it into their beautiful templates and boom, you got a website. I've been using Squarespace for years and years and I'll tell you from firsthand experience, it's super freaking easy. You don't need to know how to code or do HTML, it just works. But if you ever do run into any issues, they have 24 seven customer support, they've helped me out they can help you guys out too. So, as I said before, if you're a creative person, if you're a photographer, a filmmaker, a visual artist, or you just are obsessed with making delicious South Carolina barbecue rubs, you deserve to have a beautiful website. So go to squarespace.com to start your free trial. And when you're ready to launch your site, go to squarespace.com forward slash 1000 for 10% off the first purchase of a website or domain deal, son. Thank you, Squarespace, for sponsoring this video. Alexandre just sent me the final fully fixed export first reactions let's check it out oh yeah he cleaned yeah. up the pixels yeah that looks crispy that's so crazy <laughs> dang seeing this in 4k looks so good i just saw it streaming last time yeah dang So sick. So, so dope. Dude. What a genius Frenchman. <laughs> That's so <laughs> sick. I just want to check back in on the polls. So it looks like it went 71% of you like the black base for the shipping container and 29% of you liked the white base for the shipping container. Even though the black base for the shipping container appears to be the absolute favorite in this race. I saw a lot of people who are really, really passionate about the white background. And I talked to Aaron and he said it would be cool if we just made both options available. I mean, why can't we just put some options out there for the people who want the other one? 
one. That's what I say. All right, guys, let's get this out of here. Okay, so skateboard. I did the skateboard that just kind of had the photos of the toys. I don't know, it wasn't hitting right. And then I reached out to Alexandre Albasir and was like, yo, you have so many amazing visuals in this 3D trailer that you've made for me. Maybe you could do some super high resolution exports and you could try a couple skateboard designs. He sent those to me. They're looking super awesome, but I'm still just not exactly sure if we're just, if we're just really nailing it on the skateboard. And I think I'm actually gonna take a crack at designing a skateboard as well, just so that we have explored all of our options and make sure that we're putting out the best deck possible because art skateboards, to me, are almost as sick <laughs> as super cool designer toys. So even though I don't need any more work put on my plate, I'm gonna try and take a crack at doing a custom skateboard. Here we go. I gotta say one perk about having your own designer toy is that you can photograph them and they instantly become references for you to make art out of. I took pictures of my four colorways, brought them into Procreate, and roughly traced them to get my loose pencil sketch going. Okay, line art is done. Now it's time to start adding some color. With this design, I see these four versions of the hammer hood as almost like a team of crime-fighting heroes. Maybe each colorway has its own unique special powers. Dude, I told you guys at the beginning of the video there was gonna be a lot of art in this one. Why does this week feel like six months? I've been drawing forever. <laughs> you know, I grew up on the Ninja Turtles and the X-Men, and teams of awesome heroes were just like a huge part of my childhood. That's totally what this design is reminding me of. Okay, so I have these four skateboard designs between mine, the photo one I made, and the two by Alexandre. Now the moment of truth happens. I'm gonna put a poll out on YouTube and ask you guys which one you like. Okay, so the poll results for the skateboards are in. Very exciting. Let me, let me just scroll down here. As you can see, deck A, which was my last design, the actual illustration that I made, has a whopping 83% approval rate in a national poll conducted by the most reputable survey foundation on the internet aka the YouTube community tab cool that's the skateboard we're going with thank you guys for your input but while I have you guys here I gotta show you something super sick check this out this is so cool this is a piece of fan art that somebody already made out of the San Andreas colorway and it's just the most epic dynamic pose that's so sick I am so honored and humbled when people make super awesome fan art this is by an artist named Ein Void Light right now on Instagram they have 900 subscribers let's bring that from a 3D digit number up into a four digit number. I also hit them up in the DMs and after some discussion, we're actually gonna be adding this to this sticker pack, which is super cool. I have a bunch of designs that I have made that's gonna go into this sticker pack, but at the last minute with the alley-oop, we're also adding a random piece of fan art by Ein Void Light. It's not gonna cost anything extra for you guys. It's $10 now, it was $10 before, but it's just cool to involve the fan community in this way. Hello, Editor Peter here. I also forgot to mention, Ein said they they weren't gonna be able to get a toy, so we're sending them every single toy associated with this drop, including the limited edition, all the colorways, all the DIYs, the shipping container, the brick wall, all of it. Oh boy. Well, here we are. <laughs> I can honestly say this has probably been the most grueling week I've had as an artist in as far back as I can remember. But we have made it. Oh, the toys, the toys. <laughs> Obviously we've designed the toys. We did the shipping container. Turned out super sick. We have that in black and white. We have the mini mural, the blockbusters wall. I love the way that one turned out. Tech 63, my collab with Quix. The custom skateboard, I think that turned out crazy cool. Got the t-shirt, got the hoodie. Boy oh boy, swaggy as hell. Got that super saucy sticker pack that comes with seven stickers. And gosh, there's even stuff that I didn't design on camera in this video. This is a super cool 11 by 17 print that has all four of the colorway turnarounds on it. And I made this special edition enamel pin out of the Cranberry Kid colorway. That one's looking super tight too. Okay, so you guys, <laughs> these are out for pre-order right now on the Martian site. They're gonna be available for one month. You can pre-order them. All the orders are gonna get sent off to the manufacturing. And I think Martian was estimating late 2022 to early 2023. One thing 
is about the website if you're an international country, right at the top of the page, there's a little American flag icon. If you're from somewhere else, click that flag, find your country, switch the whole dang site over to, I think it'll switch it to your currency. It'll make shipping a little bit easier and smoother. One other note about the DIY guys, this is gonna come with a creative digital download bundle. So it's gonna come with the line art that I made my colorways with. You guys are gonna get that as a Photoshop, as a PNG, as a JPEG. You're also gonna get some nice photos of the actual toys. You can bring that stuff into Procreate, into Photoshop, whatever your art program is, whatever your art app is, and start working on your colorways because we are having a DIY contest. I mentioned it in the last video. The winner of that, our favorite custom hammer hood is gonna win a thousand bucks. I mentioned that in the last video, but also we're adding to that. I am actually gonna custom paint one of these bad boys and the winner of the contest is gonna win a thousand bucks and they're gonna win an original one custom painted by me. And hey, freaking <laughs> the last toy that I painted that wasn't even one of my own sold for a thousand bucks. So if you win it, just eBay that shit. <laughs> but yeah, we're probably gonna be announcing details about that when they start shipping out. It's gonna be something where you put it on Instagram. Let's just say this right now, since I have you guys here, the hashtag will be hashtag DIY Hammerhood. You gotta tag at 10 Hun and at Martian Toys. The deadline is probably gonna be 45 days after everyone gets their toy. So at least you have a little bit of something to go on. I'll, I'll write that out in the description. Uh, yeah, so the other thing I wanna talk to you guys about is that we do have bundles out there. If you buy one single toy, it costs a certain amount. If you buy two toys, both toys individually get cheaper. The price drops. If you buy three toys, the price drops even more. The more you get, the more you save, basically. If you guys have any questions, customer service stuff, the contact form through the Martian Toys site is where you're gonna wanna send that stuff. This is so epic. Looking at these toys, looking at my little characters in three dimensions is just so amazing. Thank you guys so much for your support. Thank you guys so much for your insane excitement when I put out part one of this. Hopefully you're equally as excited with part two. Thank you for weighing in on the polls and helping make this drop better. When I involve you guys as the community, your hive mind, your like creative entity that is this super sick community here on YouTube elevates the whole project so much. So thank you guys so much for that. And a huge, gigantic, super special thanks goes out to my patrons. You guys are the coolest people on the internet. You support me so, so much. And thank you to Martian Toys. Legends, dude. You guys are absolute legends. You really help make this thing possible. Am I forgetting anything? Go check out the website. Go take a peek right now. They're live, baby. Get yourself one. <laughs> They're so cool. Ah, oh, just like sit them on the shelf over here. Can you even see him? Oh, he looks cool. He looks so cool up there. I'm a super happy artist right now. This is a dream come true. You guys help make this dream come true by supporting me in my artwork, watching my videos, sharing my videos, subscribing, liking. I really, really, really appreciate you guys' support. You make dreams like this possible. Like, the things that I get to do because of you guys is amazing. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. Have a good day. Have fun. Be creative. Love you guys. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.